Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Savage here in my cave with the inimitable Kyle Hill. Oh, hello everyone. <laughs> Adam, it's been five years Should since you... I've since I've been inside the shop. That is too long, dude. It's it's been too long. I've seen it grow and evolve and amessify over the last two years. So. Can I ask a question then? Mm. If you because you're familiar with the space, you've yes. been watching the, the lockdown videos in yes. here. Um, does it look as chaotic to you now as it does to me? Because it feels to me, I like I've officially run out of room and it's like a hoarder's paradise and I'm yeah. trying to beat it back. I can see parts of your mind embodied in the 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 clutteration yeah. <laughs> of, of what's going on. But you know, to be to be fair, for everything that's gone on and for you to have a shop like this during lockdown. It looks all right to me. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, is that all the action in this room ends up happening here in this like 15 by seven foot space. Yeah, the, 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 this, this seems smaller yeah. in real life. <laughs> yeah. I remember texting you about this like, that's a, wow, look at this bench. And now it's, it's kind of small. Still yeah. impressive. Thank you. It's not the size. It has, <laughs> it has really, really served well yeah. over the time. Um, you have a thing that we're going, we're going to frame today. Yes, I, um, through, the Grant Imahara Steam Foundation Charity Mythbusters auction. Um, I wanted to, as kind of a capstone of my Mythbusters experience mm -hmm. throughout my life, um, me and uh, all my members over at the facility, we wanted to purchase something. Sure. And uh, so we bid on an original, and I'm, I'm saying this to Adam Savage, this sounds <laughs> weird, but uh, the blueprint. Anyway, I wanted it is to- so I, great. So by the way, sorry, it, thank you on, uh, on behalf, I'm not a member of the Grant Amahara Steam Foundation, but I am uh, adjacent and we thank you. For oh, the, of course. For the purchase. Yes, uh, Grant, Grant was a friend, uh, a friend of my partner yeah. um, for many years and, so, and obviously a part of my life in a tangential way. So yeah. it'd be really nice to have something like that immortalized and this, uh, blueprint specifically is from uh, the swords. Oh, wait, don't, don't, don't tell me. I want to open it up and just see because I don't know which one you have. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Can we crack it? Yeah, just for, I said swear. <laughs> I, don't worry about it. I don't, <laughs> I don't, uh, I didn't. But, but it is, it is from an episode. It is from an episode that I remember Grant specifically working oh. pretty hard on and making some, uh, devices for and that's oh, why that's... I, I bid on that one specifically because i wanted something that kind of took it all together oh, that's lovely yeah yeah okay and Just... we're gonna we're gonna frame it today <sighs> Wait, I'm, I, I'm excited I... it's it's giant yeah, it's 36 by 48 yes so in terms of a thing do you have a place in your house for this or you... i actually do <laughs> that's awesome i actually do <laughs> <laughs> getting that getting that youtube funds <laughs> it's um, all right Am I right? This is the, yes. This, this is, is the, the tube. Item in question. Uh, oversized, fragile, but you can imagine since it's it's more or less filling up the whole tube. Yeah. But if this was in a oh squarish, rectangle-ish kind of thing, it's a it's a large piece and uh, very sturdy. It's got its own uh, certificate of authenticity as well. And, oh, from uh, Prop Store. From Prop Store. Which I've I know never you had love. a prop. I've never had a cert of authenticity for one of my pieces. <laughs> that yeah. is, like I have so many prop store certificates of authenticity Is it here. weird seeing you, your life become <laughs> history as you're still alive? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> genuinely strange. Huh. <laughs> that somebody is like, oh, let's put a watermark on this. All right, let's roll this out. I've cleared Absolutely. the pool table. Yeah, there's only a little bit. There it is. There we go. Oh, it's so light. There we go. See what side is the front. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, the sword swinging. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so freaking awesome. There's um, something about my childhood brain watching Mythbusters. I know, again, go. that sounds weird. I remember very fondly, not only this episode, but something very specifically, where's uh, Grant at some point in the episode putting on uh, a sign somewhere that said decapitation hazard. <laughs> and uh, I think anything with a decapitation hazard deserves to uh, yeah. have this kind of treatment. Yeah. But uh, you graciously signed this as well. Oh. Yeah, this is his drawing. Oh, that's awesome. I don't think this is my drawing. I don't, this is it definitely... doesn't look like your handwriting. No, 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 no. And we didn't do drawings for each other's stories. So this is definitely Grant's drawing. So my plan of attack is I want to do what's called sort of float this a little bit. Mm. 
I don't think this paper is archival. Um, by that, I mean, I don't think it's acid. I don't think it's necessarily acid free paper. Uh, mm. but and I do what, want, what, what, uh, would that change or not? That would change how it ages over time. Ah. Um, so I'm definitely going to, I want to uh, adhere this to its backing using some archival glue that will help it last longer oh. and live longer and okay. be properly treated. Sure. Uh, and so what I'm thinking of is actually backing this onto some plywood, um, with a, with a little border, like, like maybe just like a quarter of an inch and then the frame starts. Yeah. Just a little bit of breathing room mm -hmm. on there. And the frame is, that's our frame. This is a, <laughs> that, that's just, that's just a piece of wood right I there. I thought a good crappy two by four was a perfect Mythbusters <laughs> frame. I'm going to slice this into four pieces. If the knots give me trouble, I will repair and that'll be part of it. Mm, yeah. If, if things snap on those. I, I think part of the, the magic of uh, what went into the show was working with what you got. Exactly. If it goes wrong, keep going. Um, so I think the first thing is I'm going to cut a piece at, um, uh, probably 37 by 49. And then I'm going to bring that piece of wood over here and I'm going to give you the task of tacking this down to the wood. Okay. Um, I've got some archival glue and I'm just going to be asking you to like basically go down and dot a piece of glue and just put a little bit of weight behind it uh, all the way around. And while you're doing that, I'll be slicing this. Yes. Yes. And so, I mean, as you know, and as the viewers at home know, um, I am one of the few Grandmaster wood uh, workers and <laughs> um, and carpenters in, in yeah, the contiguous yeah. 48 states. Um, but for, for your benefit, I'm just going to act as though I don't know what I'm doing, just so you can kind of learn from the process, not because I... So yeah, yeah, I can put I can put glue down. Excellent. When I have these pieces of frame, we're gonna beat them up. All right. Shop is not big enough for this cut, <laughs> or it's just barely reminding me of the shining maze. All right, that's 49 inches. Beautiful. That's a good piece of wood. How am I going to make sure as I'm tacking this down in spots and not like a not like a constant line that I maintain this nice separation here? Um, you mean in from the edge? Yes. I'll bring you a bunch more one, two, three blocks. Mm. And what I would do is I'd get the positioning to where you really like it, yeah. where it feels quite even. Yes. And that's just a little bit of adjustment. Then once you have that, I'd move these in a little bit and I'm going to bring you four more. So you're so you're keeping so you can this the, rigid exactly. and the only part that you're moving is the part that you're tacking down. And what I'm going to give you is some archival glue to just put down about every probably three inches with a brush and lay this down on top of it. And it's a, Great. it's an archival PVA. It's basically Elmer's glue, okay. but it won't impart any acids that'll, pr that'll, um, eventually unnaturally age the paper copy. So yeah, this is something that comes from my days of, uh, being an artist's son is that you always want to mount your artwork using pH neutral materials. Sure. So they don't, they don't age or wear. I have pieces of my dad's artwork that were held up with a piece of scotch tape and that piece of scotch tape is burned onto the paper because mm. the glue had an acid into it. Sure. pH neutral PVA, professional quality, archival adhesive dries clear, remains flexible, ideal for book binding and paper projects. So I would just leave it on this piece, but mm. as you, once you have this positioned and it's time to move through, I would just get a little bit of glue on your brush, just yeah, nice, just like that, nice little and lay the paper dress. down over that. Nice little crisscross. Yep, I'm gonna cut some pieces of copy. I'm gonna have to. I don't even know how to cut something this long on my table saw. Here we go. We'll figure it out. So much of Adam's mannerisms and things have oozed into my brain, like, just, and you know now what we want it. I think, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that this is about a half inch there. That's good. Just cutting a six foot two by four. 
lengthwise is about the limit of what this shop can do. I'm going to literally be feeding it all the way into my wood rack. <laughs> Let's get the uh, helper. Good. Okay, one. Awesome. That's one. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want. I want that stuff. These are the four pieces. Huh, these cuts are nicely clean actually. So that's a live edge, not live edge, live edge. I want the live edges to be on the outside. I want that. That's I want that piece in there. Will it survive? That's not smart. It won't survive. Adam, what's confusing me here is that uh, no matter how many times I straighten it to whatever edge, another edge decides to not do that. Yeah, and that's completely fine. I, yeah. Like that, I keep doing that with that, but then <laughs> but then this one goes off and then that one goes They're off. They're not totally correct. Okay, no. this is the one anybody's eye will notice. <laughs> that, uh, that's the one, the top and the bottom. That's here's the one. thing, when I, when I assemble the frame, mm. when I uh, rough the parts out, if we feel like it looks too uneven, we can trim this down yeah. and we can we can kill the edge. Yeah. We can hide it. Yes. Okay, good. But I actually like the idea that this edge is straight. As long as that one is, that might be totally fine, but we're only gonna know when we assemble. <laughs> yeah, okay. Japanese handsaw over there. You know what? You know what my favorite part about this mountain is? You can make whatever kind of brush strokes you want. You want little crisscrosses, you want little circles, you can do whatever you want. This is your world. This is your world right here. And if you mess up, you're just messing up in front of your childhood hero, on front of millions of millions of people. Just put just put that right out of your mind. It's fine. So, I'll point out. Yeah. <laughs> to all your, uh, I, I know you got some eagle eyed viewers out there. You see the evolution of not sure what I'm doing <laughs> to, okay, I kind of get it, to frustrated over it's not being totally straight to it's done. You know what? I, I don't think anything could be more appropriate. Hey, <laughs> I, I'm, I can manage it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to slide this into the slot. Created by the frame. Yes. We don't have to come right up to the paper. We can kind of float a little bit. And then these bad boys. Uh, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to feed this down to you. Maybe that will work. Let's try it. <laughs> Just grab the wood out of my hand in a pulling, splintering motion. No, I'm, I have to move the other one down a little bit. And so we're not going to split. We're going to go over. Okay, copy. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of like a Japanese frame. Ooh. Like there. And then like we're do the same thing here. So not a whole lot of clearance on this side. No, I know. And so I'm, this is just, this is a test fit to like okay. trim down. Oh, sorry about that. That's all right. It popped out. Take a look at Ooh, it. Like see it. how we feel about it. Actually, to be fair, I kind of, do you like this? Do you like this? Slide, I do this actually. Yeah, no, it, it's, uh, 
Um, and so what I also did was on the It outs, looks like a brute force way to show it off. You know exactly. What I mean? The natural end of the two by four are mm. the two sides. Ooh. So when you're walking in and seeing it from the side, you just see the natural edge. I thought that was a nice touch because like, I don't want to see a too clean a milled edge. Yeah, I totally agree. Right? That's nice. Um, so now what I would like to do is uh, now we can actually, we have done all of the busy work. Mm. The next stage is to have fun and beat these up. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll stain these. And then once we stain them, we'll beat them up and we'll start to sand them down. So let me get some. Because with stain on top, then once you start beating them up, it might reveal some of the... It gives you a nice contrast if you beat it up after exactly. you stain it. Because yeah. if and you did we'll it beforehand, if you beat it up beforehand and then stained it, it would just look like stained shitty wood and not something that's used. That is the theory. Um, you don't have to be precious about this. Just we're going on and we're taking it off. Okay. And we're not trying to be too, too precious about it. <laughs> Also making this a darker value will make the blueprint pop a little better. Ah, uh, yes. Now, I'd like to point out for the viewer at home that I just finished one. <laughs> <laughs> and that Adam is not waiting for me. Oh, also, don't forget uh, on the long ones, the ends are important. On the short ones, they're not. Can't tell by looking what the... Oh, this is the long one. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I guess we should have had rubber gloves on before we did this. Too late, baby. But, yeah. I don't want to hear nothing in the comments. <laughs> nothing. 150 grit. There you go. If you'll fold that into thirds and then half again. We're just gonna like kind of take off the edges. Ooh. Do just a little, a pop. little bit. Pops a little bit. And just to keep, because I didn't clean them up before we stained them and that was on purpose. I did kind of want to take them down afterwards. Are you getting down to your, like you're seeing the different color or not oh, too yeah. much? Or? No, no, no. Take it. Go ahead and be rough with it. Copy. All right. So now you're going to beat it up. And here's how I want you to think about beating it up. Okay. Let's so you lay this down. Um. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> this seriously. No, I don't know. I know. <laughs> You're embodying the randomness that you want to impart to the device. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We're just doing this to take down the, the top corners, too. We're just like. <laughs> no, if, you, if, you, if you take this out of context, just this part, and you just put it like, <laughs> you're like this is how you build things. And you just like buy a piece of wood. Like, you laugh, but like there are furniture counterfeiters who like turn a vacuum the opposite way and blow something full of old dust and make it look ancient and beat it up. And huh. Absolutely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh that's good. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> Chug sliding off. It's all good. Um, I've been playing around with this new model washes. This is an acrylic. We're basically going to be painting this stuff on and then immediately pulling it off. So mm. this is a short side. We'll be doing something like this, just like putting this on and then immediately like scraping it back off again. Okay. I'll take this one. And you don't have to be super consistent. Like see this where I put it here and yeah, it's not it's a here. Bit darker, like, yeah. That's totally fine. Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Again, brings the value down really nicely. Oh, and it's filling in. Ah, I see. Accenting some of those uh, hammer marks from earlier. Oh, well, wait till we're going to hit it one more time with sandpaper, too. And that'll actually bring them all out. That'll bring them out to play. Mm -hmm. You've said a couple times that you're suitably ambidextrous, and it's something that I am encountering at this exact second. About that you are also? We're doing, we're like doing the immediate taking off the stuff with yeah. uh, your non-dominant hand <laughs> is uh, non-trivial. Uh, but it's also actually really great for the look too, because you're gonna do things in a weird way, yeah. right? Like your body's not working the <laughs> yeah. way it should. No, it's like I'm trying to throw a football with my other hand or something. 
It's funny, there's this juggling trick that you can't get until you reach real ambidextrousness, which means it's one of the hardest tricks there is. And it's such a boring trick, it doesn't look like it's hard. So you work but really you... <laughs> long to get there and it <laughs> but, just doesn't give you But if you're in the no. Yeah. All right, so let's actually, let's face up the four hero fronts to each other. So yeah, fold it in half and then in thirds. Oh, I was like, why doesn't he just run his hands across it? Because <laughs> it's fucking sandpaper. <laughs> I tried to bring it across, it just ripped my fingers open. So now we're gonna do the same thing we did before, which is we're gonna, uh, I'll take a short and a long, you take a short and a long, and we're just gonna again. And on this one, much less than you did last time. Copy. Now it's just about pulling the paint off the high spots and bringing out the grain. This is actually looking way better than I thought it was. I mean, not that I thought it was gonna look bad, but I think it's looking great. Yeah, well, if you set out, you know, having it be almost quick and dirty looking. And then it's actually. But then it's actually. And on the long one, go ahead and soften the actual outer corners. Copy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that looks like you found it. Oh, that's great. Some shop. Oh, lovely. Love this. That's a, nice, that's a nice looking piece of wood. I think we are almost ready to start assembling, astonishingly enough. So I think that what we're going to do, I think I may... <laughs> the pool table is the only table I have that's big enough. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the, the color contrast against the blue is nice. So if you'll just hold it in its orientation. Mm -hmm. That is a... Do you... What? <laughs> 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 Hang on, got to go get the bigger ones. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Big daddy clamp. Uh, we'll have to yes verticalize. Ooh, some someone's moving around. Yes. That one is actually. I think that's pretty close. All yeah, right, let's see how we did. Yeah. One and a sixteenth. One and an eighth. I'm off by a sixteenth. That's not bad. Yeah, split it. Okay. And then <laughs> this one is one and an eighth. One and a sixteenth. Hey, one and a sixteenth. Beauty. Oh. Oop. I pushed. Oh, uh, that's okay. Oh, because it still moves around inside yeah, the slots. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always got to drill. You got to put one screw in before you drill the second hole. I always want to violate that prime directive. Doctor. Oh, thank you. Thank you, doctor. Uh, you want me to twist your way? Yeah, well, let's vertical and then, yeah, go ahead and spin around. Excellent. Oops. Thank you. Okay, of, so here's the next thing is mm, I'm going to a bit of schmutz there. Schmutz is good. Yeah, that's um that sap that's sitting on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> we are now locking the back piece of plywood to the frame. Okay. So now is the time that if we wanted to 
if we wanted to adjust with it. it. Yeah. Um, and I'll admit, I'm actually pretty yeah, happy it's, with yeah, where no, it's I mean, sitting. It's not, it's not so I'm bad. I'm pretty surprised. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm just going to do here is just... Yeah, that. Oh, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. There is one more thing. And Joe, you're going to have to follow us to a second location. <laughs> All yes. of you come with me. Oh, I think I know. All right. I have here, I haven't cracked this in a long time, Kyle. This is my personal stash, I believe. Oh, the good stuff. Ah, oh, of Ooh. old ye oldy Mythbusters duct tape. Ye oldy Mythbusters duct tape. What could be better <laughs> to affix stuff to other stuff? Indeed. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I have one more surprise for you. Take a look at it, and you're aesthetically going to wonder where duct tape should go on here. Hmm. Yeah, it's nothing is screaming duct tape to me. Okay, so my, and the, I had the same response, which yeah. was I was thinking maybe just a small piece yeah, on a corner. If I was going to do anything, something it's, like it's something like subtle. it's yeah. Like okay, it's, before we do duct tape, I have one more piece to add to this frame that I think you'll really like because okay. I went to my MythBusters stuff cabinet. It'd be really fun to drill a hole. <laughs> I'll just have an arrow sticking out of the frame. What do you think? I love it. You love it? Yeah. Great. I feel like side coming in, I think your first instinct was was correct, right? Side that way or that way? That ah, that's tough. Yeah. It's it, it does look great. So I imagine you drill something and it's totally removable. Absolutely. Because, no, yeah. I'm gonna drill a hole and you'll be able to just pop this in. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah. ship this and put <laughs> that's it. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise it changes the volume oh, of the God, thing. No, it makes shipping this an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Dramatically, yeah. yeah. No, that's great. Okay. Uh, hold that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Higher than half. Higher than half. Less than. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite part about the world is like, we can do this. Yeah. And both of us can have the same understanding that, oh, wow, no, within this range, there is a point of view. And yeah, it's about yeah. that. No, it's weird, right? Like, what is Be that? Being humans with brains such as we or yeah, something like how, about what is, that. What are we tapping into? I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a nice press fit. That's great. Right? That's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you, I'll hold this while you yeah. get to do the duct tape and, and view it. And Oh, it's beautiful. I think duct tape on the upper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw your head go to the same place. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's difficult now because the, the, the balance of yeah, stuff yeah. is here. Exactly. You kind of want it to be. It's definitely this side. Is it top or bottom? <laughs> nope. Can't be anywhere near the signature, which means... You yeah. relegate it to the new... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, is it, so is it something like that? I tend to think no. Hmm. I tend to think less than full wrap. Hmm. I feel like it should look like a remnant that someone didn't get around ah, to removing. Sure. So, hmm. let, me, let, me, let me hit you with something. Let me, let, me, let me hit you with something here. Now, if, if you were doing that, and yeah. if, if it was something you kind of like... Well, you know, do it, do it in situ, right? I mean, if it was something you kind of, yeah, yeah. you kind of fucking took off. Like, yeah, there okay, you go. Okay, well, let's get that back off of there, or even, yeah, know, yeah, some, something, <laughs> something like it was on there. You know, then you have so, that's that's a little thin for my taste, but yeah, you know, uh, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't cross an open lane. I would, mm. yeah. Oh, I see where you're, I see where your head's at. Yeah, yeah. It, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was more lived <laughs> but <laughs> you know what i mean yeah yeah something like that how does that how's that i you? think that looks great um if you want to um actually if you want to hold that once you get it to where you like i've got a t50 stapler we can just pop it in oh sure uh, yep yep <laughs> and uh, yeah i'm just gonna do here sure <laughs> There you are. Stand back in regard. Just enough. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It's time for us to... 
sign our work and uh, leave a note for posterity. So I'm going to pull this. Sure. And which which episode is it? Sword, Sword swinging robot. Sword swinging robot. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to tell you, um, giving this a good home feels phenomenal. Doing this with you, like, I, you know, you were in touch with me when you were bidding on this thing. You were telling me no one's going to win this goddamn <laughs> thing but me. Um, and that made me so happy. And dude, it is just so... This is really nice. Lovely. Yeah. If you told me, if you told me when I first saw the show when I was a kid <laughs> that I would be here eventually I, I wouldn't have believed it it, it would have been an absolute dream come true and i know it's a lot uh this this has a lot contained in it for you and you know there's a, there's a lot of small and I, I want you to know that i it's the same for me it's a very it's a it's a dense yeah object right well, things turned out pretty well for 10 year old kyle hell and <laughs> i mean okay. I, I think that one of the things we loved about what that we love about Grant Imahara and mm. his legacy is that that joy was also deeply invested in everything that he did. Absolutely. Right? That kind of grace and that gratitude. Mm. Uh, and it feels really fitting and lovely to give it a, a, a suitable a suitable throne to be displayed from. And I'm super glad you have a wall for this. Yes, that would have been really depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> in the story uh, goes. Yeah. Um, here, let's lay this down. I just want to uh, give you a hug, my brother. That was delightful. Oh, it's too long, man. I appreciate it. Five, five years ago, I came in here uh, uh, nervous out of my mind asking for advice. Oh, Remember right. Remember I came into this shop and you took uh, an hour and a half, two hours of your time to talk to me, the guy who was ostensibly taking your job. <laughs> uh, to talk me through, I, was, yeah, I really wanted to get this right. I wanted to, you know, have some sort of reverence for the legacy and all that stuff. And yeah, that was, that was five years ago. Five years right, ago, right you were getting there. ready to do the search. Mm -hmm. It's been I a long time. I had no idea it was that long. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I hope my advice was helpful. Oh, yeah, yeah always. <laughs> all right, guys, that has been one of the more emotionally satisfying one-day builds I've done in a dog's age. Thanks for bringing it, Kyle. Absolutely. Uh, it wouldn't have been complete without uh, your input and your help. And it's going... Not only did all the funds to get this go towards a good place, but it's, it's definitely going to go to a good home forever. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.